wouldn't it be nice if you could get a security suite that didn't make the performance of your PC suck? Welcome to the Yogi Pico Personal and Gatekeeper Pro. Welcome to Gadget at the Techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser of the Society of Jesus. That's the California province of the Jesuits. We're a religious order of the Catholic Church. And we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii, at the Newman Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. We've got some new geekware this week. We uh, were sent this by our friends over at Think Geek who thought that we could use a shirt that maybe some uh, more professional types could use. This, quite simply, is... Timmy, the Geek Monkey. Now, if you uh, like this shirt, if you think that you could use it, if you think that it screams out that I'm a professional, I'm a geek, I'm a professional geek, then you need to go to Think Geek at www.thinkgeek.com. The Gadget Bite of the Week comes to us from Fromworks, who sent us this, the QuickPod. Now, upon first glance, the QuickPod looks like nothing more than a camera stick, a monopod, and pretty much that's what it's designed to be. It has a little swivel head here that allows you to screw on your digital camera or your camcorder, but then you can extend it so you can hold the device away from yourself to capture that self-portrait or their group photo. Fromworks says that this is supposed to replace those awkward conversations you might have with a total stranger, asking them to take your picture or even asking someone in your group to get out of the picture so that they can shoot the photo. We also found that there was an additional advantage in that if you hold it out from yourself, touching it to your body, it acts somewhat like a steady cam. Uh, it's a nice way to get the jaggies out of your shots if you don't want to pay for a professional auto gyro stabilization platform. Now this is the QuickPod Pro which goes for $24.95 but you can also get the QuickPod Pro Plus which adds this. This is a little tripod base and if you look at the bottom of the QuickPod you'll see that there's a little screw in base which is where the clip goes so that you have the ability to connect it to your belt or hook it onto your bag or connect it to a carabiner for easy storage. When you get this little base, you can screw it in, and once it's attached, you actually have the ability to use the QuickPod like a standard tripod. If you want a companion for your digital camera or your camcorder, may I suggest you go to www.quickpod.com and uh, see if one of these might be for you. This week's main event comes to us from Yogi, who sent us the Pico Personal and the Gatekeeper Pro Soho to show us that you don't have to destroy your performance to get security. The Yogi Pico Personal is the size of a thumb drive and supports the 480 megabit per second transfer rate of USB 2.0. While it looks like nothing more than a flash drive, it is in fact a complete hardened Linux PC running on a 520 megahertz processor with 128 megabytes of memory, 128 megabytes of flash storage, and 8 megabytes of read-only storage. When plugged in, the Pico boots into Linux and launches 13 security applications in about 35 seconds. The way that it boots is worthy of note. Not wanting to risk having the Pico be a target of infections and malware, Yogi designed the Pico so that upon startup it copies the Linux kernel and applications from the read-only storage to the flash memory. That means that the Pico cannot be permanently compromised since it replaces the OS and applications each time it boots. Once it has booted, the Pico establishes an encrypted SSL tunnel to Yogi's servers. Every hour, the Pico will check for an updated threat profile and download it to the device. The profile is used to update the 13 security programs including Snort for intrusion detection and prevention, Kaspersky for antivirus and anti-spyware, MailShell for anti-spam and anti-phishing, and Surf Control for content filtering. It also provides firewall, HTTP, FTP, SMTP, and POP3 proxies in its suite of services. The Pico user interface is simple and easy to use. When you first log into the device, you are greeted with a screen that gives you an at-a-glance status of risk level, as well as firewall, intrusion, and malware events. The Pico provides very thorough reporting of system events. Every bit of data can be graphically represented in surprisingly eye-catching graphs, or listed in text format for those who prefer to parse the data themselves. 
security geeks will find themselves leaving the UI window in a corner so that they can see the updating of threats and events. It's quite hypnotizing in an uber geek cool way. Configuring the Pico Personal can be as simple or difficult as the user desires. You can either use one of the three preset policies, or you can tweak the settings on your own using the Advanced tab. If you choose to tweak the security settings, you have a dizzying array of options that you can play with. You can set policy for filtering, firewall, intrusion, detection, and prevention, and any of the other Pico Security Suite components. You can also set maximum size of HTTP downloads or create a whitelist blacklist of sites, ports, and IP addresses. The support screen is remarkably uncluttered and yet refreshingly thorough in its hardware status reporting. It gives you all the data that you might need, from software revision to memory and CPU usage to hardware temperature. In use, the Yogi software kept us from surfing to pages with dangerous or filtered content, warned us when we attempted to download files which were infected, and monitored all inbound and outbound traffic for malware activity. The fact that it intercepts all traffic means that the Pico can equally protect Wi-Fi, wired, or WAN network connections. From my observations, the Pico Personal performed as well or better than any of the big-name security suites that I have evaluated over the last few years. Performance-wise, this is where the device really shines. True to its promise, the Pico Personal was able to accomplish all of its security magic without bogging down my system. Unlike many commercial security packages that seem to instantly incur a 50% performance penalty and often bog down my workstation for minutes at a time, the Pico never spiked above 15% CPU usage, and I'm not entirely convinced that the spike was caused by the Pico rather than the programs that I was using to generate traffic. With all the benefits listed, the Pico has still one more, parenting and data security. The software can be set up so that access to the internet is possible only when the Pico is connected to the workstation. This is a powerful tool for parents who want to monitor the time that their children spend on the internet, or for professionals who want to ensure that their workstations are isolated while they're away. The Gatekeeper Pro has essentially the same functions as the Pico Personal. It even uses the same hardware, aside from the size and the fact that the Gatekeeper adds two Ethernet ports so that it can run in line with your wired network, the Gatekeeper and the Pico function the same. The Gatekeeper Pro can operate in one of two modes. In USB mode, the Gatekeeper works in the same fashion as the Pico. A rubberized USB cable, which is normally tucked away in the body of the Gatekeeper, provides power and connectivity. All traffic is directed through the USB port and scrutinized for security problems. In inline mode, the Gatekeeper acts as a standalone security device. It still needs to be powered through the USB port or through a 5 volt plug at the top of the unit, but when the Gatekeeper is in line, all traffic must first pass through the Gatekeeper before it can physically get to the computer, the best connected security model possible. The Gatekeeper offers an almost identical service suite as the Pico Personal. It runs all the same applications, but it also adds a VPN client. The great thing about this device is that mobile users can carry the Gatekeeper with them, plug it into any computer to which they might have access, and connect securely back to their home network. Combine this with the built-in antivirus, anti-spam, IDS, IPS, and threat detection engine, and you can pretty much secure any computer, anywhere, at any time, and log into the corporate resources without worrying about settings, configurations, or possibly breaching the security of your network. Host system performance when using the USB mode was identical to that of the Pico Personal, but in inline mode, the gatekeeper uses none of your system CPU power. It becomes transparent. The Pico Personal is available online for about $100, and the Gatekeeper Pro is available for about a 170. It's now possible for me to have airtight security, but also get that performance that I need to run my applications. Now, if you buy these devices, you automatically get a one-year subscription to Kaspersky for the antivirus and anti-spam programs. If there was a downside to these devices, I'd have to say that it would come in network connectivity speed. You see, with the limited firepower, I mean, these are nice computers, but they aren't supercomputers, you really can't do the filtering at, at gigabit speeds or line speeds. I mean, so you will notice a little bit of a performance hit when you are transferring large amounts of data back and forth over your network. What I actually got used to doing was disconnecting this or taking this out of line whenever I wanted to connect to the gigabit network to transfer large amounts of data. Still, for what it costs and for what it does, it's a fantastic product. Yogi really has done well with these products, and, and that's probably why that they've been voted the uh, best of CES in their class. These are fantastic products for mobile professionals or for those who want to secure their desktops. 
you might want to go to Yogi at www.yogi.com to check out these devices and uh, maybe you'll be surprised by the amount of power and security you can get in such a small package. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the Yogi products or any of the other products that we have uh, brought out on the show, you can go to www.thetechstop.net. Click on the Gadget tab and you'll find the high resolution versions of the episode as well as the links to the various reviews and uh, places that you can buy these products. If you want to send us an email message, and thank you, please keep those coming, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. And there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>